Good day, first year students. Today, I'm going to introduce to you the expression web version 4. Actually, this lesson is intended for our laboratory, which is all about the HTML or the hypertext markup language. Okay. So, what is expression web? So, expression web is a professional web development environment. It means that we can create a web or professional web using this expression web. So, it can be used as part of the integrated Microsoft Expression Studio. So, if you are using Microsoft Expression Studio, so you can connect or you can embed your work from Expression Web to the Microsoft Expression Studio. So, the Expression Web will support work with HTML and CSS. So, that is why I am, I am introducing to you the expression web because our lesson, our laboratory lesson is about HTML. So, we can create our HTML codes through the use of expression web. And to make our websites and web pages more professional, beautiful, and presentable, we are going to use the CSS or the cascading style sheets para makabutan kita style sa ating mga websites. And also, to upgrade our web page, we can create program using the JavaScript and ASP.NET. So, the expression web is available at no charge to students as part of the MS. DNA a license or Microsoft Developer Network Academic Alliance. So it means that we can download Expression Web freely. So we don't need to purchase a license. This is an open source. So what are the different uh, Expression Web views we have? design view, the code view, and split view. Okay, let me see or let me open my Microsoft Expression Web. Okay. So, this is the uh, Expression Web and you can see here at the bottom, we have the design, the split, and the code okay if you are writing the codes or the program you can click or toggle the code uh, tab in order to write your programs or your codes or your documents over here and then if you would like to uh, to see the result of your codes you can click the design tab that's it then if you are going to open both view you can click the split tab okay you can see here at the upper part the codes at the same time you will see here the design but uh, as of now we don't have a design yet so that's it then so the one that i have a while ago is the same as I have here in the PowerPoint so we have the design and this design the split and the code views so toolbars and expression web you can add or delete items from the toolbar okay so the Chrome toolbar options allow for creating new page New folder viewing in a browser, setting text, font, size, and alignment. The standard toolbar adds icon for some HTML elements like tables, layers, images, and hyperlinks. You can dock or undock toolbars and add or delete individual items on a toolbar. So, like for like for example, okay, this is our expression web. So over here you can. Uh, dock or undock the toolbar so okay so if you try to look at closer 
the mouse pointer changes to this one to the cross so you just click this one then you can uh, that's it you can move your toolbar then you can also uh, delete or remove the icons so like for example or the toolbars you can just right click right click over here then so you can click formatting to add formatting toolbar or you can delete the formatting toolbar by clicking it to uncheck okay now that's it so the standard toolbar adds icons for, uh, for some HTML elements like tables layers images and hyperlinks okay so I'm going to the standard toolbar that standard toolbar okay standard toolbar so toolbars and expression web you can add or delete items from the toolbar okay you can dock or undock toolbars and add or delete individual items on a toolbar okay like for example this one okay you can dock or undock the toolbars by pointing your mouse pointer to the left most of the toolbar so you can notice that the, the mouse pointer changes to cross and then you can uh, you can move the toolbar that's it so the common toolbar options allow for creating new page new folder viewing a browser setting text font size font size and alignment okay okay this is our okay the common okay this is our common toolbar so we can create new document you can create new site you can open file and that's it you can save then you can change uh, your font style to bold italic under or uh, underline then standard toolbar okay there you can insert table table layers images and hyperlinks okay hyperlinks insert hyperlinks so this this is a standard toolbar and this is a common toolbar sa dalum sa dalum ang common toolbar Dito sa babaw ang standard toolbar. So, the expression web I mean, you can open a toolbar using the view toolbars menu. Okay, let's see. We have the view, and you can click toolbars, then you can check or uncheck the different toolbars. So, kung hindi ka di gusto mo ka sa dock and undock, so you can also click the view tab, then toolbars, then you can, you can select the different toolbars if you want to, to use them. Okay. The common and standard toolbar duck together. So you can choose how many toolbars you want to open. So we have the page development area, the page tabs, the editing area, the view toggle. Okay. The page tabs. Okay, let's see. Sa actual. Okay. This is where you can see the page. Tab. 
So as you can see, we have only one page, the untitled underscore one dot html. Okay, but you can add more pages over here. Then the editing area, the design view is the uh, what you see is what you get view. So the code view is the code view. The code view is the code view. <laughs> okay. The editing area. So over here sa the loom. Okay. Dari kita naga edit sa aton nga ano. So using task panes, there are four task panes. Okay, using task panes, there are four task panes appear by default when you start Expression Web. The folder list. Okay. So this is the folder list. You can see here folder list. This is where you can see the different folders you have. Then the tag properties or CSS properties. Over here, the tag properties and CSS properties. The tag, the CSS properties. Then we have the toolbox at the right side over here. And you can see your tags. Okay. So apply styles or manage styles over here at the right side. So the CSS styles. But if you are going to change or to upgrade your properties, the SS properties over here at the left side. So like toolbars, this can be docked and undocked, okay? It means you can move anywhere the different uh, task panes, like for example, this one, okay, man. And then you can also close if you don't like that particular task pane. So if you are going to read, if you want to return the uh, workspace, you can click panels, then reset current workspace. So the task panes, like as we mentioned a while ago, the folder list allows for viewing of website folders, pages, and or images over here. The tag and CSS, CSS properties tag and CSS properties are available to help when adding new elements to the page over here to make your page more presentable of course you are going to add different elements okay so the toolbox provides list of frequently used tags so over here the division the span so you can add different tags over here over here and the toolbox or it provides the list of frequently used kung anong term nga nagamit mo mga tags makita mo diri sa toolbox and used to, uh, apply and manage styles used to apply or manage existing css style rules so over here at the right side So the website folders and files will be shown in the folder list task pane over here. Then click on file to open it for modification. So if you have existing files, you can see here in the folder list. Then you can click that to open, to modify, or to improve. So you can drag files or folders or delete them via the folder list. Okay, pwede mo di i-delete dari ang mga mga files dari sa folder list. So, setting up defaults for new HTML pages. You will need to make sure new HTML pages added to your project have the proper doc type and your preferred file extension. So, use the tools page editor options. So, over here, tools, page editor, and options. So, use the tools page editor options. Na, dali na ito makita. Ang code coding, authorize. Man. 
default fonts, IntelliSense. So select the auto authoring tab, set to default extension that HTML. Select the authoring over here, authoring tab. Okay. So set the default extension to that HTN. Okay. Then okay. Ang BOM. Ang BOM. Okay, and check na po. Okay. Then we have the HTML 1.0 transitional. Then we use HTML HTML Okay. Transitional uh, X XHML secondary schema Okay Then CSS 2.1 So So adding a new HTML page creating a new HTML file using the file Okay na nila pa Okay File, then new, then HTML. Okay. So by default, your page is named by untitled underscore one dot HTM. Okay. So you can change you can change the file name through the file. Then save option, and then you can write here. Your name, okay. Like example, this is sample site. Then click save. Okay, you can see here the sample site that htm. That is our file name. That is through using the file tab. Okay. You can use the page properties dialog to set some of the following. Page title, page background, link, visited link, active link, and hover link colors, page margins, or padding. Okay. Page properties. Okay. The page properties. And so, page properties over here. So, you can change here. So you can change the title, the description, the background color, and everything. Okay. Formatting, advanced, custom, language. Okay. Pwede ka ka change sang name. Ang sang title, I mean. Ang page title. So, ang page title is untitled 1. Okay. Untitled 1. So, you can change, like, for example, my first... web page okay so you can change the background the background sound so my first web page you can also do this on the page in code view or css with style sheet Okay. code view na I mean code view so direct directly you can write the you can change the title or you can write the title of your page in the code view so using the page properties dialog okay dialog So, in general tab, you can write here the title page. 
expression web uses a combination of inline and embedded CSS to do this use the formatting tab okay, that is the formatting tab you can change the background picture for example of the background with the example that's it this is our background so you can choose the background color text color settling visited active and hover colors there is certain uh, properties page properties hmm? this background okay. background picture kung ito a watermark okay tangan mo sang color, automatic, automatic hyperlink, text kung ano gusto mo nga color sa text nagutula so there is a format thing. so I'm going to advance that So, you can use advanced tab to set page margins. So, 15, 10, 15, 10. So, you can change the margins if you like. Okay, you can also change the color as I already introduced a while ago. So, IntelliSense. The expression web development environment supports IntelliSense in the code view. IntelliSense generates an automated uh, autocomplete pop-up list as the user begins to type character of an HTML tag, attribute, or a CSS property. So, the user can click on the item on the list and complete their element. Okay, like for example, over here sa code, if you like to create a tag, like for example, and so as you can see we have the uh, pop-up this auto complete pop-up list so you can select body head okay for example body select table and after writing the table you don't need to write a line background color border but just simply double click and that's it okay then you don't need also to uh, write the color but just simply click double click and that's it so that is the intelligence it generates an automated autocomplete pop-up list as the user begins to type characters diba? nag start na kita type some people automatically again tagaan kita some choices kung mag-change ko sa background color and after choosing the background color uh, you don't need to write the color but you just you just simply uh, select okay that is the intelligence so using the intelligence of the expression web we can save time writing our codes because the expression web suggested or generates the codes okay the codes for you so the user can click on the item on the list as i already done and complete their element okay. so intelligence speeds up software development by reducing the amount of the keyboard input required as i already mentioned it allows it also allows less reference to external documentation as documentation on many functions appears with the function name okay we can less or we can save time so think of it as just in time documentation so we uh, the expression web uh, do the documentation so intelligence or the pop-up list no and i'm gonna share or type it on the table may mga pop-up list na so you just only select you don't need to type so using the tag properties, tag properties, task pane over here at the left side, and tag properties. So the tag properties show the available properties of the selected tag. 
okay like example back so over here you can change the color example you can put border of the tag okay so in this case the image tag is selected so all the image properties are shown okay you know, image Style enough. Okay. You can change the background, the border, and everything. That's it. So you can set values for these properties. Okay. So it can be left, middle, right, top. Okay, the values. So, CSS properties show the available properties of the selected tag. Okay, you can toggle to select the CSS properties. You can have also the proper, but actually, we will be discussing the CSS uh, later on. So, baloli hina ng CSS. Okay. So, in this case, the header 3 tag has a selector style set set in the embedded style sheet you can view its styles or change their values so uh, it is simple uh, header okay. body so I'll be giving you uh, more samples uh, in our next videos so, overview lang ni sa mga parts ng CSS. Ano. So, expression or capability of this environment. So, thank you so much.